How's it going everyone? This is Rain Big Nasty coming at you with a comparisons video. Uh, before we start, I just want to apologize that my throat is a little catchy. I'm getting sick, so I just want to get this video out for you guys. So please apologize for my voice and or every so often that I do cough. Uh, one more thing I wanted to bring up is um, there's a lot of talk on YouTube right now about supply draws being a pay to win system. A lot of the, what do you, how would I say this? A lot of the privileged that get early access from Activision, they're all kind of defending the whole situation, saying that it's not pay to win, it's randomized, blah, 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 blah. In my eyes, what I say is that's bullshit. Any time that you can pay to increase your odds, even if it's very minuscule, it does not matter. It's pay to win. It doesn't matter that it's randomized. If you can pay money, that more people, a lot of people have more disposable income than other people, but if you can pay to give yourself that advantage, even if it's a percentage, you know, it's pay to win. Don't be sheep. Don't follow that bullshit. It is pay to win. It is what it is. It's okay. If you want to do it, do it. I'm not downing you for it, but call it what it is. You know what? Call it what it is. Call a spade a spade. Pay to win. Supply drops, advanced supply drops. Yes, they are. All right. That being said, let's get on with this comparison video. It's Cinch versus Scuff. And what I want you guys to see first, I'm going to start this video off. And please bear with me. The video is going to be a little long. But I'm going to try to rush through this portion of it so it won't be that long. So anyways, this is Cinch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to customize a basic stock Cinch remote for you guys, okay? Now, this remote right here is $109.95. Just the way it is right there, okay? It's your basic remote. It comes with everything default. Just keep everything default except for your trigger stops because otherwise it won't come with trigger stops. So what you want to do is, I don't know what the adjustable trigger stops are, but... This is what I had traditional, where you have that little uh, screw right there, screwed into it. I mean, you want a trigger stop, so it'd be no point in not doing it. Uh, remove the rumbles already comes out. You know, obviously, do not do a software update. It's stupid. You can do it whenever you buy a new remote from the store. You have to update it yourself anyway, so you know how to do it. Don't give them more money than you have to. This is basically it. Stock remote. Your B, your A stock is right here. It's got these little buttons in the back. If you want four, it's one extra here, one extra here. I think you should just stick with two, though. There's the B and the A, because behind it's A, B, left, right, just like here, A, B, left, right. So that's your sentry mode, all right? It's at 117. We're going to go to scuff, build a scuff one. If you can see, this is the same price, 109.95. We click on that one. This is just your overview, your paddles. You got your paddles right here. See, it's BA, same thing. A, B, A, and B when it's behind there. So it's left, right, left, right. Just the same way. You don't need to remap it unless you have four, four, I believe. And you can only remap the two in the middle. But you don't really want to get the four. I just say stick with the two because I'll explain why. And later on when I put this these two controllers side by side and I'll show you why you don't want to get these two right here in the middle just stick with these two outside ones that's all you really need even though it you kind of want to do it but don't believe me I'll show you a little bit what later on why options just keep everything the same or oh, the rumbles I don't have the rumbles out here you got to pay for it it's 395 that's fine adjustable trigger stops grips no you don't need that uh, or oh, the concealed trigger stops okay Concealed ones, this little lip right here, this little flap, it opens up. They put a little something right in here so it could have a trigger stop. Otherwise, if you don't, if you don't, if you just leave it at no, it already comes with trigger stop. It's part of scuff. You have to pay for it in cinch. You don't have to pay for it here. So it's a little give and take because you have to pay to get the rumbles out here, but not over there. So over here, you just want to get the, it'll come with a little screw like over here. This is how it's going to come with a screw right there. And that's just standard. Unless you want to conceal it, then they'll put something in here and make it different. And of course, you don't want this retarded disc because it's just something that slips on and it's just dumb and a waste of money. All right. And then your design, just leave it alone. Unless you want to play $10 to put a blue light, which I think is pretty dumb. And just leave everything else the same. And there you go. That's your stock remote. $113.90. Hold on. Let me move this over here. And let me move this one over here. And then there you go. This is your cinch right here, and it's at 117.90. This is your same exact 
replica but in scuff form over here and it's 113.90 so you decide it's really comparison people think that one remote is more way more expensive or so much cheaper it's the design or the way it's made they both use use xbox one remotes and they just mod those and xbox with shitty remotes so eventually these will break down on you just like a regular remote does keep that in mind because they only give you a three month warranty all right, and remember, this is only for COD, for Call of Duty. It does not work well, especially if it's not a first-person shooter. And if you're playing Destiny or some other first-person shooter, those trigger stops do get in the way. So this is essentially, you're just buying this game specifically for Call of Duty. You'll be fine. Have an extra remote somewhere to play something else, okay? So let's get into the design or the side-by-side -side comparison so you can see what I'm talking about. really want to do this hell yeah you know you're gonna get your ass whooped is that an extension on your top set or are you just happy to see me shut the hell up mr prince albert on trigger sticks what the hell's going on with you fool fool what you think you are you think you're mr t ah mr t bag your ass all right let's do this what about me what about me I want to be in the fight too. Well, no, you can't, Mr. Last Generation. Screw you. And you. Why does nobody love me? Sorry. Um, this is your sentry mount. This is your scuff remote, okay? I'm not going to blow a lot of smoke up your ass. It's just a modern remote that does a few things more different than your regular remote. This is your basic remote. I mean, this got this nifty little paint job because it's the advanced warfare version of it but there's nothing special about this remote this remote is just your basic and these are your two modded ones now they're not that much different in terms of what they do and they're not that much different in terms of what they do to that remote too it's just a preference and there's more cons I mean they play the game they do everything they do what you want them to do but to me it's all about the response that you get the cinch. You got the cinch. You got this freaking stupid ass logo that they put on there. It makes it really not responsive. I hate this little button. I wish they would just left it alone like Scuff did. Well, that's an original. They're not going to put a cinch logo over there. But yeah, this is really annoying ass thing right here. Another thing, there's these buttons, okay? They're, they function really well. It's A, B. Just like this here. A, B, A, B. See? A, B. Now the thing about having buttons instead of paddles is that you have to learn to position your hand where it's supposed to be, your fingers. And I don't recommend getting four buttons because it'll put it right here, right here, and I have a friend that has four buttons on each and he hits the top ones trying to hit the bottom ones. So <clears throat> it looks like it's going to be counterproductive to do that. These right here, if you can see, this is the trigger stops. You know, this is the basic trigger stops that you can get, I think you can buy the ones built for the inside on this one I'm not sure um, they come standard on the scuff but the thing that I don't like about these out trigger stops is the fact that when you're playing with them they sometimes get stuck right there so oh shoot here we go these are some nifty little tools right here that they give me for the scuff gaming so but when you're playing you'll be like yeah I'm getting some you're whooping some ass and then bam it goes in bam I'm whooping some ass and then bam it goes in again. I mean, it's constantly going in here, right in here. It gets stuck a lot, you know? Or if I drop it, like, boop, and then bam, it's stuck again. I mean, it doesn't even have to fall that high. Sometimes from about this depth, boop, it lands right on the trigger because the COD guys know how to make your shit land incorrectly where it's going to know the hell out of you. But trigger stops are really useful. I don't think on this, since this whole panel comes out, this whole, well, I'll show you on this one right now. <clears throat> Since this panel comes out, um, I don't like the outdoor trigger stops for that reason alone. That they, they get sunken in because the panel comes out so it's easy for it to go in. I mean, outside of that, like I said, it's basically a regular remote just with some trigger stops and the extra buttons on the back. I mean, you can order special order and get them jacked up, but you can do different stuff. But I like really keeping my stuff default because I don't like messing with my... I don't like messing with my thumbsticks because I use control freaks 
because you can see they just snap in and on on and off like that off on it's real simple if they're real cheap they sell them now at uh I just found out they sell them now at Best Buy so you can just go in straight there and get it <coughs> excuse me this is the scuff the scuff is essentially the cinch it just works a little different they keep the same they keep the original Xbox One button which is very very a lot more responsive I really enjoy that I like the fact that it does keep its its original button I opted out and decided to pay extra for the trigger stops the trigger mechanisms I didn't want to get this Prince Albert here on this one because it has I don't want to have that problem I learned from that remote what not to do to this remote because in here I don't know if you'll be able to see it see if I can focus but here let me take this out they give you this tool and then right in here there's a little I don't know if it really rubber thing right here that stops it that's where it stops it right there it's really cheap I mean it, you can pretty much do it yourself. I saw a YouTube video. You can probably stick a little piece of leather there like they do it. And you can make your own trigger stops. It's really up to you, your your real preference. Um, I got the scuff grip because my hands, they sweat a lot. So I, I prefer to get the scuff grip. And this little neat design, this little blue design that I got was just a dollar extra. So I mean for a dollar to, you know, spice it up a little. One thing I don't really, 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 really like about the scuff is the new paddles that they made I mean I like the buttons that they've always used they've always used these little simple buttons they work really well they work well on my 360 I've never had any problems like I do on this one on this one my jump button I believe is not as responsive they stop responding after a while and you gotta push it really hard and it's getting really frustrating so I don't know if it's because dirt and grime get up in here or what it is but it's become less responsive <clears throat> these paddles right here you know they go right over the button, you can hit it from any direction. You can hit it from anywhere. Anywhere you want, and you hit it. So you're just naturally sitting. You don't have to position your hands anywhere. You just put them wherever you want, and when you're ready, you just hit the paddles. What I don't like is the flimsiness of this plastic. The fact that this is built on the battery case, on the lid, and it doesn't, what do you call it? It doesn't feel really like it's, it feels like it's eventually going to break. So hopefully they'll have that replacement part. It doesn't seem too hard to replace this. So, but I'm pretty sure you're going to be coughing up 10, 15 bucks to replace this every so often because with time that is going to wear. For some reason, I think on the Xbox 360 it had it a little better. It's harder plastic, and it works. I, I believe it just worked better on the 360. They should have stuck with that instead of getting all fancy with this stuff right here. Another thing is that I suggest you only get two paddles. Don't go for the third one because you see they're all lined up right here. That means that they're all going to end up right here. The other two, if you put the attachment that goes in here, because most of the headset adapters now have that attachment that needs you to put it in, you're not going to be able to use these buttons. You're going to have to take them off. So you're going to spend 10 20 bucks. I think they're $10 each, to put buttons on here. And if you pay for the remap, you just throw your money away because when you end up putting the thing right here, so you can use your headset, it's going to eat it up to here, and you know it right here, it's going to line up right here, you're not going to be able to use it, so you just spend, what, 40, 50 bucks, you just flush it down the toilet, because you're not going to be able to use it, because you need to use that stupid adapter, so you can talk, unless you don't want to talk to somebody, up to you really, but other than that, I mean, this remote is essentially the same shit as this remote, they both good in terms of functionality, I really prefer the scuff in general, just because I like to be able to put my fingers wherever it is that I want. I mean, unless you want to pick uh, claw and do this and then get some early stages of carpal tunnel going. I mean, that's really up to you, but I really prefer the scuff over the cinch. I mean, the only reason I bought a cinch was because I was supporting a clan that I was in previously, which I'm not in no more, so that's the only reason I bought it. But even when they asked me to do a review on the scuff to see if I liked it, I didn't want to because I'm not going to promote something that I do not like, and I really don't like this. But there's another, <coughs> excuse me, there's another company out there called Battle Beaver Customs. Uh, my buddy, um, my, my buddy Knight, his name is Rain Knight. I'll put a link in the description or the annotation fairies will take care of that. Hopefully, and have them put a link up in the video to, that'll send you to his review. And he'll show you his, I mean, you can move the buttons on the other one, I believe. I don't know. Go click on that thing. Go, go check it out. We're doing my video. So, that's what it is. That's basically it. I, if you're going to go spend your money, I mean, we already went through it in the beginning. The price difference is not that much. It's just the functionality 
to me, I give the edge here to the scuff, not to the cinch. The cinch just got your ass whooped. Mm, mm, mm. ah! Alright, whatever. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Click like, share it, and comment. See what else you would like me to do a review on next. Hopefully, you know, I've got some experience with some headsets also. And if you would like, I can actually teach you how to upgrade your headsets. But it's, uh, it's, it's just comment on the video. Teach me. That's it. If I can get five teach me comments, I'm going to teach you how to upgrade your headsets slowly and get better headsets, all right? It's not hard. You're just going to work the system. It's just, just take it easy, all right? Well, this is Rain Big Nasty. You guys have a good day.